Hey, hey, beautiful people. My name is Kristen. Today we are just going to do a little book haul. The recent things that I've gotten this summer, I have not picked up a whole lot of extra books because I've been trying to read down my TBR. Plus, I have not been reading as much this summer as I normally read. Um, I did want to share because every once in a while I do like thumbnails and it's like, you know, when you're wearing graphic t-shirts and you're always like, what's that person's graphic t-shirts? And this one's really cute. It's like my end of the summer graphic tee. It's like sandy toes, waterfalls, coconut oil, sea turtles, and shave ice. How cute is that? Okay, I'm just, I'm into graphic tees. If you, if you, <laughs> if you have a favorite graphic tee, describe it below. I just, you know, I, I have too many, too many books, too many graphic t-shirts, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Those are good problems to have. Let's show you the books. People with collection problems, right? <laughs> First, okay, first I went and I took a huge tote bag full of used books to my used bookstore, got credit, and I picked up six new books from the used bookstore. So I think I did end up having to pay like four or five dollars because they weren't all in the categories that I had turned in, but that's okay because I like to support them too, right? Local used bookstore. So I found this cute copy of The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. I do not think, I saw this movie, but I do not think I have read this book and it's not a very big one. So this would be a fun classic to just kind of pick up as a classic one month that I just kind of need an extra classic, feel like an extra journey. And um, I just really appreciate him as an author and his kind of sci-fi. I found this awesome vintage copy of St. Joan, which is a play by Bernard Shaw. It's again, pretty short, but it is just a moving, moving drama about the life of St. Joan. And I actually was in this play in a renovated barn one summer. And I just, I mean, it's just such a cute little kind of childhood thing, but also going back to my college years. So I wanted to own it. Then I have, uh, there's like the different people who work in the used bookstore have their own shelves. Like these are recommended by these people. And there is a worker there named Natalie that I've probably mentioned that I always go to hers and look because she's always recommending great stuff. So in that she had this beautiful little children's book with these illustrations. Um, and I just thought it was lovely. I said, yes, yes, I would like that. And I took it out of her stack as well as another middle grade book that she had uh, Roxy and the Hooligans. And I have not, I have not read this book. And so I thought this is, this is good. Um, I might save it till middle grade March, but I might pick it up before that because, because why not? And then I found two books that actually were on my extended wish list. One was Colson Whitehead's The Underground Railroad. I, love the nickel boys that is in my top books of uh, that i read last year and so i really do want to get to this one he just guts you as far as just the graphic kind of beautiful horror of tragic stories so you kind of have to have your your guard up and be ready to be wrecked emotionally when you read his books but they're worth it like it's that poignant gripping saga t telling. And this one obviously is about slavery and the Underground ra Railroad. Um, and then I found The Rose Code by Qu Kate Quinn. This was on my extended book wish list. I had been wanting it since it came out in hardback and here it is at a used bookstore in paperback. So she just writes beautiful historical fiction. Um, I'm not sure which, is it World War II? It is a World War II story, okay. And it's two different narrators in two different timelines during the war that is talking about, um, you know, the secret war code. So I think it's gonna be really good. I really enjoy her books. And then, okay, my workplace offers, like if you do this online health stuff, like you pledge to eat correctly or do this exercise or whatever, you earn points. And when you get certain points, you get not only a drop in your insurance rate, but you get like to get gift cards. So I got an Amazon gift card and I'm going to buy books y'all. <laughs> so I bought two of my cloth bound, beautiful, classic 
things. This one's the Virginia Woolf, Mrs. Dalloway. Now, yes, you might say, Kristen, didn't you DNF that book? Yes, yes, I did. Um, but I mean, I want to have my collection complete and this is beautiful, beautiful book. And plus it's a beautiful book that I get to put right on my shelf and I don't even have to, I don't even have to read it. <laughs> I can just enjoy it on my shelf. And then look at this beautiful one for Grimm's Fairy Tales, which I've also already read another copy that I own that actually is a really beautiful copy, but it's not the penguin cloth bound. So I got this penguin cloth bound and um, yeah, I'm just super excited. So I've already read them or DNF'd it so I can put them right on my shelf, right in my collection. And then finally, my last one was a book of the month. I have been skipping most of book of the month picks, but I did pick up this past month, Lisa Jewell's None of This Is True. This sounded like a great kind of story. I have read two Lisa Jewell's, which were solid three store, enjoyed the book, glad I read it. Um, I haven't found one that's like four star, five star, like knocks my socks off, but I just enjoy a good thriller suspense. I'm, I'm totally willing to read a little Lisa Jewell. So this one is about a woman who does like a true crime podcast and she encounters somebody who shares her birthday. I don't think she knew her any other way, but she comes across her and they realize they have the same birthday. So they strike up a friendship and then this person that she encounters draws her into a true crime, real ongoing true crime, true crime series kind of thing. And so then it becomes all mysterious and she's got to like, you know, do her own story. So I thought that sounded really good. And I like this cover with the houses and the in reverse houses. And I'm not sure if there's going to be some kind of multiverse or alternate view or mirroring or something, but you know, if not, I just like the cover. So why not? So those are my books. One, two, three, four, five, six, about nine, nine new books that I have picked up over the summer, which really that's, that's pretty low for me. Uh, but that's good. I needed to do that, but I'm, I'm glad to share them with you because now I can say, have you read any of these? Do you recommend that I really bump these up? Because I do have a fairly substantial TBR that I'm trying to work through, but I don't want to miss out. So let me know. What have you read? What do, what would you like me to read? What should I bump up to the top? How's it going? <laughs> Just leave me whatever comment. Let's meet in the comments below. I hope to talk to you soon. Have a great day and happy reading, y'all. Take care.